Good day to you all. We're back with solving physics problems. And today we will be solving elasticity problems. So again, we will get our examples from the University Physics book of Pearson. As for the examples, uh, for the first problem, we will focus on tensile stress. For the second one, we will focus on the bulk stress. For the third one, we will focus on elasticity. And for our first problem, problem 11.25. So, a circular steel wire 1.98 meters long must reach, or must rather, must stretch no more than 0.24 cm when a tensile force of 440 newtons is applied to each end of the wire. What minimum diameter is required for the wire? So, we have a given. Uh, for the given, we have a length of 1.98 meters, the change in length, which is 0.24 cm a force of 440 newton and now we are looking for the diameter so what formula do we need to use ah of course we need the circular steel it's very important we will use it later so for the equations we have the tensile stress of oh, rather we have it y is equal to tensile stress over tensile strain which is f over a all over change in l over l so with some derivation we can get that area is equal to fl times or or all, all over y over change in length so for this problem we have a young modulus of 2.0 times 10 to the 11 which is for steel so for our solution we just need to plot in uh, our given to the equation so using the form using the formula for area We'll now get 440 newtons times 1.98 meter all over 2.0 times 10 to the 11 pascal times 0.24 times 10 to the negative 2 meter. So I converted the change the change in length into meters because we need it to be in meters, but the given is only in centimeters. So we'll get a value of well, uh, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6 meter squared. That is our area. And the area is equal to pi r squared. So uh, we just need the radius in order to get the diameter. So the formula will be r squared is equal to a over pi. So r will be equal to square root of a over pi. So which is the square root of our area, which is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared all over pi. Which will give us a value of or the radius will be 7.7 .7 times 10 to the negative 4 meters. And diameter is equal to 2 times radius. So 2 times 7.7 .7 times 10 to the negative 4 meter will give us a diameter of 1.5 millimeters. Next. Uh, for uh, problem 11.33. A specimen of having... An initial volume of 590 centimeter cube uh, is subjected to a pressure increase of 4.0 times 10 to the 6 pascal, and the volume is found to decrease by 0.47 cubic centimeter. What is the bulk modulus of the material, and what is the compressibility? So, for our given, we have here a volume of 590. A cubic centimeter we have here plus uh, the pressure of 4.0 times 10 to the 6 pascal and the change in volume of 0.47 cubic meter so what is our bulk modulus and what is our compressibility so the equations need to be used are so b is equal to negative p all over change in v over V. Uh, so, from just from to make it into a simpler equation, it will be uh, negative P times V all over the change in V. So, as for compressibility, our formula there will be 1 over B. So, in order to solve for this, uh, we just need to plot in all our given to the equation again. So, our pressure is 4. 0 times 10, 6 pascal, 
multiplied by our volume which is 590 cubic centimeter all over negative 0.47 cubic centimeter which will give us a, a bulk modulus of 5.0 times 10 to the 9 pascal. Now for our compressibility, it's just 1 over B, so 1 over what we have got in here, which is 5.0 times 10 to the 9 pascal, which will give us a value of 2.0 times 10 to the negative 10 uh, of uh, arc pascal. So for our last problem, so in a materials testing laboratory, a metal wire made from a new alloy is found to break when a tensile force of 87.8 newton is applied perpendicular to each end. If the diameter of the wire is 1.19 millimeters, what is the breaking stress of the alloy? So we have a given here of the perpendicular force of 87.8 newton, uh, a diameter of 1.19 millimeter, and now we are looking for the stress. So it is also said here that it is a metal wire. So look, it will give us an idea about what to use later. So again, for our a tensile stress is equal to uh, the perpendicular force all over area. And since it was given that it's a metal wire, so it's circular, our area here is pi r squared. So we can substitute that, the perpendicular force all over area, and here for our solution. So a radius is equal to d over 2. So first we need to divide it. 1.19 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. Again, I converted it into meters. All over 2. So, uh, because the area is pi, or, pi r squared, we substituted it. So, uh, for the stress, 87.8 newtons all over pi times our radius, which is 5.95 times 10 to the negative 4 meter squared should give us a value of 78.9 times 10 to the 11 pascal. This is now our breaking stress. So that's all. Thank you. If you have questions, you can just email me. Uh, goodbye and have a good day.